Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be walking you through some of the various charting styles and customization options we have on charts in the Optimus Flow trading platform. Now, before I do begin, I would like to mention that if you are interested in trying out a demo of Optimus Flow, you're more than welcome to sign up using the link in the description down below. So again, if you're interested, go ahead and sign up using that link. We'll provide you with a 14-day free trial of Rhythmic, and you could try Optimus Flow risk-free. That being said, let's get into this video. Now, we do have quite a few other videos covering charts, but we don't have anything necessarily covering the different charting styles. Keep in mind, we do have a video covering the advanced charting styles, such as number bars, um, which is order flow or TPO charts. Just to brief that real quick for your order flow, you can go ahead and come down into cluster right here. Um, this is actually accessed if you don't see this through the volume analysis toolbar that can be enabled in the top right hand corner here using this magnifying glass option. So if that's enabled, you'll just go ahead and click on cluster, go ahead and click enabled. And there we have number bars. Again, I'm not going to get into this too in depth in this video. Feel free to look at our video for TPO and order flow. One more time for order flow. Again, it's up in the top left hand corner. You go ahead and click on TPO and there's our time price opportunity charts. Now, also within the volume profile or excuse me, the volume analysis toolbar here that hasn't been covered in other videos are things such as step profiles, which you can go ahead and enable. You can also show value areas and it will take a second to calculate here. But as we should see, it should pop up on our screen. There you go. We have similar profiles for left and right, which you can associate on each side of your screen there. We have time statistics that you can enable, which will show up at the bottom here. Here are the fields that will be displayed in our time statistics. Feel free to enable or disable as needed. And they'll all be displayed here. And you can hover over your mouse to pretty much get a good idea of what you're actually looking at per candle. We also have a time histogram with this enabled. You can adjust the data type you'd like your time histogram to filter by right now. And by default, it should be off of total volume. We do have a VWAP as well, which you can enable and you can have various VWAP lines, some based off of hours, minutes, days, weeks, months, and you can adjust the numbers as needed. So two hours, one day, three days, whatever you like. We do have time and sales as well. I like this feature because you can actually go ahead and click on bar select here. And you'll notice that if we click on the actual bar, we'll get the time and sales for the bar we select. So depending on which bar you click, you'll get time and sales just for that specific time period. So of course, this is going to have a role into um, play a role into the chart customization, which we'll get into in one second. Finally, in the volume analysis toolbar, we do have power trades, which if you go ahead and, and enable, it'll pretty much almost give you a depth of market here on the side of your chart and give you various statistics um, and indicators on your chart. You're more than welcome to mess around with this and customize as needed. That was just a brief bit tutorial on the volume analysis toolbar, as this does play a role into the different charting styles. The volume analysis toolbar does have a huge role when it comes to customization on your charts. So again, that's going to be located in the top right hand corner here. Let me deactivate time and sales so we get a cleaner chart. Let's actually go ahead and open up a brand new chart and work with this strictly. So now to the main point, let's go ahead and go through the various charting styles on Optimist Flow. If you aren't already familiar with it, and we did cover it in some, um, you know, introduction videos, but you can go ahead in the top of the chart here, click on by default, it should be time one minute. If you go ahead and click on this drop down menu here, you'll see there's quite a few different options. And these are all favorite defaults. You can go ahead and pretty much essentially customize what you want displayed here. So as you can see, there are favorites for one minute, five minute, 15 minute, 30 minute, one hour, four hour and day time charts. Now, of course, you can go ahead and choose off of these based uh, pre select option. Or you can come down here and choose from the list of chart styles that we have on this platform. 
So other things, as you may have seen here, Heikenashi, range bars, Renko. Some things that you might not see here are line break, Kagi, point and figure charts, and volume charts. Now, of course, again, these are all favorites. So you'll pretty much customize how you like. Choose the scale. So for right now, it is at one. And then that's going to be built from right here. So you can do by seconds, by minutes, by hours, days, weeks, months, or years. Now with the rhythmic data feed, they do have historical contracts dating back to the creation of the contract. So you could theoretically go ahead and build it from a 50 year chart. This may take a bit while to load, but it is possible as long as rhythmic supports it. So just keep that in mind. Now, continuing on here, let's just show an example. So we have the various chart styles here. Let's say, for example, we want a one second chart. We can go ahead, click on add to favorites after we do apply, of course. Click on add to favorites. You'll see a similar setting may already exist. There it is down at the bottom. I just had actually created it and didn't even scroll down. So I didn't realize you can add more if you like to by clicking on this check bar. And now we should have two. If you want, you can come ahead, go ahead, change the value here. We can make it a 30 second chart. Click on the favorites there and now it will pop up. If you did make a mistake like I did, you can go ahead, click on remove. Go ahead and click on the check mark, check mark to delete it. So if you don't use any of these chart styles and they're cluttering up your charts a bit, you're more than welcome to go ahead and delete whatever charts you don't use. So there's quite a few different options. As we've seen, Heikenashi, you can build this from ticks if you like to, you can build it from minute charts. It really just depends on your personal preference. Tick charts do take a bit longer to load, so keep that in mind, but they are supported. Let's just take a look. Heikenashi, one minute, we go ahead and apply, and there we have it. Let's take a look at another example. Maybe we can do something like line breaks, which we have three lines and they're built off a 15 minute chart. We can go ahead and apply and there we have it. So there's quite a few different charting styles supported on Optimus Flow. Once you have the charting style selected, you're going to want to choose how the value is, how it's built from, and then choose in this example for Renko, we do have options for brick size and then the style. You can show Wix, you can show it built off a current bar. It really just depends on your personal preference. There's quite a few different options here. Now, not only do we have the time settings built within our charting styles here, but you can also choose from these options as well. So one they're built off of, and then one you can display the actual time shown on your chart. So you can go ahead and display 50 years worth of data if you wanted. Again, this might take a little bit while to load, but it is supported on Optimus Flow. Just so we're not sitting here waiting for Rhythmic to pull in data from its servers, let's go back to a one minute chart. So right now we're on a one minute chart set to a day time period. So this of course is only gonna show a one minute time interval with one day's worth of data loaded on our chart. We can go ahead and load back 10 days worth of data, use our mouse wheel to scroll up or down as needed and scroll back 10 days worth of data if we'd like. Now, other than the time and the actual charting style, you do have how your lines are built off of. So you can do by default, it should be candle. We can adjust this to bar, line, dotted line, or area. And those are our different charting styles on Optimus Flow. Now you can get real in depth with these. Um, it really just depends on your personal preference. Again, the main feature or the main section we're going to be focused on is the toolbar right here at the top. Click on that and then search through the available chart types here. Again, you can sort through these as well and favorite as needed. Keep in mind that settings for your charts can be accessed through a right click here and go into settings, or you can come through at the top here, click on the cog, cog wheel to show aggregation settings. Pull up the settings menu here and we can customize as needed. So you can also custom, customize things such as session times. So if you just want real time hours or just overnight hours, you can do so here. You can customize window colors, data style, time scale, price scale, 
visual trading, which is, you know, as you can see here, I have an order on my screen. We have the info window, volume bars, and then hotkeys if you wish to trade through your actual charts here. But that's gonna wrap it up for this video. If you do have any questions, please leave a comment in the comment section down below, or you're more than welcome to post on our community forum, which is linked in the description as well. Again, if you wanna try a video, or excuse me, a demo of Optimus Flow, the link for that is in the description as well. As always, thanks for watching, and we hope you found this video helpful.